Hey buddies, Jonathan here, Sound 40 from the forum. I'm just going to show you how you can edit a song within the beat body and move parts around. And the reason why I'm doing this is on Sunday, which is tomorrow, I'm doing a song called This Is Amazing Grace and I want to move a part around and I thought I would just video the process. So the song uses um, Techno 3 as its beat. No, there's lots of different beats that would work with lots of different songs but I found Techno 3 gives it a nice driving beat so um, first of all we need to create a folder to put it in so we'll just go to organize new folder as soon as you highlight it you can type in so I'm just going to call this Sunday song so this would be where your set list would go and then highlight Techno 3 and to save typing you can just copy the name of it and go import export because you need to export the song out of the folder so you can import it into another folder and as we can see it's already there that's one reason why I export the song as its net as its original name and then as I, if I know what the song that I'm using is I can just go import song and Techno 3 without wondering you know, what beat was actually used for that song if I'm going to be making changes to it. So there we go, we've got Techno 3 within our Sunday songs. So this now is going to become This Is Amazing Grace. I do this song in 103 beats per minute, so I'll change that to 103. I'm also using it as the rock kit. If I wasn't sure what I wanted to use it as, I could just change um, the settings up here and listen to various ones. But if you make changes here, once you make changes here, you get a star above the number of the song and that means a change has been made. So as soon as you want to play it, it will say it needs to save it. A couple of other things I want to do is because this was the techno kit, it comes with hand claps. Well, I want my foot switch to have um, symbols. So if we click on these, it will take you to your wave sources within your default lib within BB Workspace. And I believe the verse or part A had a 17 inch crash and the chorus had a 16 inch crash. And you can click on those to hear those. Now you can't move these around. You can change the order of the drum fill, so it could be random, but I like to keep it just the way it is. You can add other ones by clicking there and finding them and adding them. So for instance, let's add 39. So there's 39 now. Synchronize and you'll then have four uh, fills in your first part, but I don't want that. What I actually want is we practiced this song on Wednesday and there's a riff at the beginning of the song which the piano plays but she found it, found it very difficult to actually get the speed of the song and the main reason she was having trouble was because the verse, this section here, because it doesn't have a snare didn't give her a definite beat and it was seemed a bit quieter as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this section to that section and so to do that I can click on there and now the the chorus is now at the top here and the verse is at the bottom. I once had to do this manually and I didn't realize that option was available until quite recently. So now if we save it at the intro the driving beat for the chorus, uh, for the intro, with the, with the riff that she's going to be playing. And then when I'm ready, press down the pedal and you then get this quieter verse. Because there's no snare. And then when I'm ready to hit the chorus, hold down the pedal. currently using the mouse to control the pedal how uh, 
the pedal here. However, you can, once your mouse is actually over the pedal, you can use the space bar. Which is quite useful if you're playing a guitar and just to practice or to try different things out. You can um, start the beat buddy and do all sorts of things all within the manager just by using the space bar. So that, that's quite useful. So now I've got this song. I might as well export it so I always know that it's available. Again, we need to save it. So we'll call it This is Amazing Grace. And there's my original. And now that I've got it exported, I can now add this to my whole list of songs. So I've created a folder called Church Songs, which is a list of all the songs that I've done using the Beat Buddy. So if we go to open my last one, so there it is. And now I want to add This Is Amazing Grace to that list just as a backup so I have them all together. And I also keep this on the Beat Buddy so if someone wanted to play a, play a song I could then just choose it manually. So This Is Amazing Grace will go in there so if I click on Take Us To The River go Import Song. As I say you can't drag and drop Find This Is Amazing Grace or whatever song you want to import. And now it's in alphabetical order within my church songs. If I click on there, I then can export the folder, which then creates a backup. So we'll just call that 070215. And now if I mess things up and I you know, have to create the SD card from scratch or, or anything happens, I've got a backup of all my songs that I've done and it's all there and I don't need to recreate them. I just export them and import them if I need to move them around. Unfortunately, you can't drag and drop, which does slow this process down, but this is currently how you have to do it. So what we'll do is we'll move that folder down Again, right click functionality isn't all there. So there's Sunday songs and there's This is Amazing Grace with the song. So I hope you found that helpful and informative and I'll see you in the next video.